Hello everyone, uh, this is Abdul and today we are going to discuss about how to download free LTM libraries from online and how we can install those libraries. Okay. So what we need to do here, we need to just go to the LTM designer, just open the LTM designer. So in my case it is the 17.1.9 version, in your case it may be different. Okay. So it will take few seconds to open. So there are lots of documents and files which are I left open the utility. So that's why it is taking some time. Yeah. So just close that project, whatever it is open. Right. So uh, we're going to uh, design the LTM uh, library file uh, using the uh, there is a import wizard option, right? So what you do, what we need to do first, we need to just go to the like your uh, search engine or browser, whatever it is. Just search for the component search engine. Yeah. So there is an option which uh, there is a website which is the component search engine dot com. Just click on that. Yeah. And login if you uh, so I have previously like registered for this particular website. So if you not register, just register here. And after that, uh, you will get a link in your email ID. Then uh, you can log in here easily, right? So after the login, there is a window just like that as shown in the screen. So what you need to do here, you need to just uh, search any component. In my case, I am searching for the triple five timer, right? So in your case, it may be any component. So you, you, can, you can find any component here, okay? Just click on that. So there are lots of triple five timers uh, I see here. Yeah. So you you need to just select, select the right one. So in my case, it is the triple five procedural timer, right? So there is a lots of option. So there is an option which is the download model. Just follow my cursor and click on the download model button. Yeah. So they have created the component. This is the just follow my cursor. This is the uh, symbol of the component. This is the footprint of the component. So it is basically eight pin IC, and this is the 3D model. So we'll also learn how we can add a 3D model in the component, right? So just uh, so I have already member of this particular website by registering here. So I just click on the free download button. So I have already uh, like so uh, like the zip file is downloaded, and I need to open that zip file. The extract this file in the download section. Okay. So what I need to do? I need to just go to the download, and uh, yeah, this is the file. So there is an option which is the LTM. So in our case, we the software we are using is the LTM. In your case, like, like so we we like uh, this tutorial is about the LTM. So just go to the LTM designer. So there are three files here: dot c, dot p, and dot t. So using these files, we are going to create the libraries. Now what you need to do, we need to just go to the LTM designer, go to the file, and there is an option which is the import wizard. Just go on that. So there is a window is which, is which is open, just click on the next button. Yeah, so there is lots of option. In our case, the file is the dot p and something. So just select the last three third option. Yeah, so in our case, the file are dot p, dot c, and dot d extension, right? Just click on the next button after selecting this option. So we are going to design a library, not any pad design file, right? So we don't have any pad design file. Just click on the next button again. Now we need to click on the add button. Just go to that particular folder. In my case, uh, so there is an option which is the LTM, and select those file and click on open button. So. This all file the, the uh, like the, that that uh, those file we have downloaded are successfully added, and uh, now we what we, we need to do just click on the next button, next, 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 and it is creating the library automatically. Yeah, so library of our component is successfully created. This is the footprint, and this is the symbol. Right now we'll learn about how we can add a 3D model in the footprint. So here one what we need to do, we need to just click on the place option and there is option which is the 3D body. Just click on that. 
So in the 3D model type, we have to select the generic 3D model. And uh, there is an option which is the load from file. Just click on that. Now just go to the download. Just go to the download. The file we have, uh, th there is a folder which is the 3D. Just select this folder and there is a step file available. Just open that file. Yeah, so this is the 3D model which we are going to add. Right, just follow my cursor. This is the 3D model. Now just click on the OK button. Right. So there is a the, like a, a pink color rectangle just uh, uh, at our cursor pointer. So what we need to do, we need to just place that uh, pink color rectangle over the center of that particular component sim, uh, footprint, okay? So now just click on that and cancel. So we have successfully placed the 3D model also. Now how we can check the 3D model? So just uh, zoom out a little bit and just press 3 on your screen, yeah. So this is the 3D model we have successfully placed. So like in this tutorial, we have learned about how to download uh, any kind of library LTM library from the uh, component search engine, how to install this library and how to add a 3D model. Thank you so much.